So this has been the fifth take uh, Cause I forgot I needed to consciously design my recording space So uh, in this video I guess uh, the title may have uh, piqued your interest because probably you may be a homeowner or who is going to look at staying at Park Clematis. So how I got to know this uh, development is actually because my brother, uh, he has bought the space. So I uploaded the video and now I've received another request from this member. Uh, he's born in the third April 1985 so you can see that uh, right now there's an iPad screen here I've plotted there's a lot of information I wanted to be concise and zoom in into the specific information that we can use even for yourself uh, who has a little bit of information about or knowledge about feng shui you can do this because it's very simple what we need to do is uh, or perhaps what I did was to know the entire development layout. The interesting thing is that uh, the stack that he bought is stack 8F. So let me just do some markings. It's down here. Which wasn't available in the normal uh, brochure or in the sales brochure of this uh, particular development. And this development is facing the north. Right. With this piece of information, we roughly know how we can design our living spaces consciously. In fact, he's looking at block, no, unit 59 in particular. The first time I looked at this whole unit, I wasn't kind of in favor of it. Why? Because uh, you will see that there is one little small missing sector at the top left. Definitely when I look for home, I would want to avoid that kind of uh, gap because it means two things to me. One, affinity with the home. Two, the amount of usable area space because feng shui, apart from water activation, is the conscious usage of the spaces. So let me just head straight onto what I meant. Uh, what you can see is that uh, this particular picture right now is the floor plan of unit 59 stack 8f what we can see is that this part let me just draw it out this part right it is a missing gap this member was asking more about career prospects when it comes to career prospects i guess they it always boils down, boils down to two things one opportunities from other people or whether am I able to seek the opportunities which is also given by other people two the skill set to perform and complete those opportun opportunities given by other people so these are the two things we already know how you can use or design your space because if you look at this particular area which I'm going to draw out right now Basically, I'm going to use these three areas, the nobleman, the intelligence, and the peach blossom. We see that there are uh, corresponding areas, which is the snake sector, the rabbit, the tiger, and the rooster. Taking note of all these four animals, in fact, I'm just going to use the three top, the three sectors, which is the snake, rabbit, and the tiger. We come back to this space of his unit 59. What we can see is that the snake is here, right? Because it's written snake here, okay? So I'm gonna draw it out in yellow so that you can see the rabbit, the tiger. So these three sectors are areas he can use to help him achieve his goal. So what I meant that I'd like to avoid missing spaces is in this scenario where if his nobleman lies in either the pig or the rat which I'll show you right now the pig or the rat 
you see that the area is so small or in fact it's almost like neg negligible to use so that's why i don't really want to you know uh, buy such a space or perhaps i'd like to avoid so one thing that you might want to take note right now which i'll go very slow here is if you're looking for a unit right or home to stay look for something that is of a full square or perhaps a rectangle is fine but if you could i would avoid this kind of spaces that has a missing gap in fact uh, he wanted to use this uh, unit either to invest for himself or to for self-stay uh, what i suggested to him is that uh, best it is possible rent it out to someone else with more information on his background work he, he can focus on the opportunities that's given by other people so what i'll do is that i'll do consciously ask him to put his table here and he do his work here where i drew in blue so this is basically how we can you know design our living spaces consciously thank you for watching the video all the way until this point i really appreciate your time if you are a homeowner who's going to stay at park clematis you can always reach out to me via the instructions found in the video comments below if you have a friend who's going to stay at park clematis forward the link to your friend if you're looking at some other spaces you can always reach out to me by also following the instructions found in the video description below